and welcome back to the channel hope you guys are having a great day today we're going to be taking a look at my 2019 subaru wrx sti in the crystal white pearl i hope you enjoy So yeah, I've had the car now for about probably three, three and a half months, and I am absolutely in love. I upgraded from a 2018 WRX. I'll get into that in a later video, but yeah, I absolutely love this car. So I just wanted to uh, make a quick video going over the mods that I've done so far. That way uh, we kind of have a basis for the channel because anything after this that I add to the car, I'm going to bring you guys along with me. So yeah, we're going to check it out. If you guys end up having any questions about where I got this stuff or how I put it on, just make sure to let me know in the comments below. I'll try to put everything in the description that I can think of. But uh, yeah, starting with the front, we have uh, <laughs> probably most notable the uh, highlighter yellow or whatever you want to call it, acid green. I don't even know. I find it both places named two different things. But anyways, I got the yellow vinyl uh, pinstripe on the grill as well as the uh, Subaru logo. I got it on the front and the back, of course, and the green STI emblem. That's probably what I get the most questions about is the STI emblem. Uh, I got it off of Subi Speed. It is a pretty good one. It's not the greatest quality. It doesn't fit like the OEM one. So, yeah, it does wiggle a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I think it looks absolutely amazing. Every now and then I just straighten it up. But, yeah, other than uh, that on the front, I do have the Perrin front license plate delete uh, for the 2019 and 2018. They were a little bit different. I do have gloss black uh, vinyl on the hood scoop that uh, kind of has a little bit of a wrinkle in it on the uh, corners right there and right there but I think it looks pretty good. Helps kind of break up some of the white before I get a uh, carbon fiber hood, but yeah, that's pretty much the front. I do have the uh, the uh, OEM style lip from eBay. It's uh, it's pretty neat. I think, uh, I think it turned out pretty good. It doesn't have like a shiny gloss black finish, uh, but it does match the front bumper where it's not gloss either. So yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. As you can tell, I live up a dirt hill five miles down, what we call a holler here in West Virginia. So yeah, I just knew this thing was going to end up getting scratched up and stuff. So what's really the point of making or what's really the point of spending four or five hundred dollars on a carbon fiber one or gloss black or anything like that when it probably will eventually need replaced? I know this is just stock, but probably one of my favorite things about this car are the uh, headlights, the steering responsive headlights. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Don't even need fog lights. I don't even see a point of adding any fog lights. The uh, stock headlights are just absolutely amazing. Super bright. Sorry, I'm sure you guys hear a dog barking, but yeah, let's move on to the side. So I actually had my uh, wheels cut for a picture, but yeah, as you can tell, there's the gigantic Brembos. They come with the 18s and 19s in this color. Absolutely beautiful. I did uh, get the center caps from SMY Performance for like 25 bucks. Highly recommend. Um, I also got the fender badge from Subi Speed. Took a while for them to get in, but uh, pretty nice. I did have to uh, replace the double-sided tape that it comes with. And uh, yeah, now they're sticking on a lot better. I also have the gloss black fender inlays from uh, Premium Auto Styling. Anytime you need vinyl, if they have it, I recommend it. I recommend them over Subi Speed when it comes to the vinyl. They just make everything a lot bigger, and uh, that way you can trim it a little bit instead of it being a little too small, like I've noticed with Subi Speed. So, looking at the glass, I do have 35% tint on. It is legal in West Virginia, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to max it out. I think he may have put 20 on my back glass, I can't really tell. But uh, yeah, that's legal in West Virginia. I didn't want to go too crazy just because obviously it's a white car. It's a loud car. And uh, I just didn't want to give them another reason to pull me over. Then I also have some um, eBay rain guards. Can't tell if you can actually see that logo or not. But if you just look for the little rivets on the side, which I think absolutely look good, um, that's the ones that I got. I think they were like 35 bucks maybe. So not too bad at all. Super easy to install. Got some stickers on the back glass. Penn State, Karma Speed, check them out. SMY Performance, check them out. Absolutely awesome. And now moving on to the back. This is where I've probably done most of the work. Um, as you can tell right off the bat, we'll probably, uh, actually let me see if I have my keys. What probably sticks out the most are the Subi Speed tail lights, sequential, pretty cool. Then I got the uh, badge to go along with it. I haven't debadged or anything yet. I think I'm just gonna keep it chrome because it matches the exhaust pretty good. And the red, I can't find a green one, so. That's probably what we're going to keep. Then I have the APR backing plate. And then I also have a, uh, <laughs> a license plate coming in the mail, but I'll show you guys that later on. Uh, the Formula F1 fog light. Can't see it right now. Uh, I will be making a video about the exhaust. It is a uh, N1, so stick, stick tuned. Stay tuned for that. Um, 
I'll demonstrate the uh, rear fog light in that video as well because it just looks absolutely gorgeous. I uh, do recommend getting the one off of Subi Speed and not eBay just because uh, the quality is 10 times better on the uh, Subi Speed one. It's way brighter, just the wiring harness, everything was way better. So, yeah, I also got the uh, premium auto style exhaust uh, pinstripes. I think they look great. I haven't seen too many cars with them, so uh, it's pretty cool. I know a lot of people do the one straight on the back bumper, like right through here. But uh, I really like the exhaust ones. I think it makes it pop. Give you guys kind of a side view of the uh, NVIDIA N1. Absolutely beautiful. Sounds amazing. I'll be uh, making another video of that pretty pretty soon. But uh, yeah, other than that, I got the uh, Vortex generator up top. And that's pretty much it. That's the car in a nutshell. I do have an NVIDIA sticker on this side. I guess I can show you guys the inside real quick. Nothing, nothing too crazy. All right, so coming into the inside of the car, of course I got my microfiber towel, some uh, air fresheners, and I don't know if you can see this too well. <laughs> Steering wheel, I do have the wheel cut pretty hard because I was taking pictures. Got the highlighter yellow stickers, and then I have a custom shift knob with my logo on it. I'll make another video on that. Let me know if you uh, want to know where I got the shift knob from. I'll probably link it in the description below, but super nice. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you can see and hear everything okay. I am working with a complete new camera setup, so it's a little interesting. But nonetheless, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave me some comments below. Ask your questions. I'll be sure to answer them and all that stuff if you have any questions. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in that next video. I'm probably going to do a carbon fiber hood next. What would you guys want to see? Um, I'm not really getting into performance at the moment. I have a pretty good warranty on the car, and I've only... I don't even think I've put 2,000 miles on it yet, so... Yeah, I'm not too sure about performance yet. It's pretty quick. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. You know how that goes. Everybody says they don't want to, and then they do. So, nonetheless, we'll see you guys in that next video. Make sure to let me know what you want to see. This has been Lycan. Peace.